Adam Carlton leads for the first time. So it goes down the third position, but it's Chris Lester in the fourth Fiesta on the inside, following him through. Up into third position, first of all, the MGZR is Russell Hurd making his way past Richard Hockley in the Honda Civic. So they go through the S's for the first time. And now Hurd's got past the Proton as well of Adam Carlton. So now he's going to attack the race leader on the outside line. The so second into the Happy for the first time and into the lead then goes the empty ZR of Russell Hyde but side by side still between him and Chris Lester as they head down to the devil's elbow then for the first time and it's still side by side can Lester go round the outside I don't think so it should be the empty ZR of Russell Hyde that leads the way and it is now Andy Thompson the Vag Trophy driver up in the third trying to go round the outside of Chris Lester can't do it at the moment though so the three of them head down to the devil's elbow we still heard ahead of Lester ahead of Thompson then the top three of the, in this 15 minute race in the fourth position now is the Honda Civic of Richard Hockley. Now, the three leaders down the semi straight again. This time, Andy Thompson up on the inside of Chris Lester, and he makes it through that into second as they head into the S's then. And then they will head down to the shores. Happy Chris Lester trying to attack on the exit there. Could not do it. Now, the say out Lyon tries to come past the MG, can't do it this time though, as they head through the hairpin then, and now Thompson has the title line on the X in the corner, more power it seems on the Seo Leon to go now round the outside for the Devil's Elbow and it seems it's taken the lead so now Nick Williamson coming through, but Chris Lester trying to attack him again can't do that, it's Phil House in the mini that comes round the outside of Lester, but can't make his way through Nick Williamson has now took the lead away from Andy Thompson, the Sayer, who attacks him though into the hairpin and back into the lead goes Andy Thompson in the 43 Sayer, the head of the fourth escort. Meanwhile, the man for third between Russell Hurd and Phil House has now got the Evan House on the inside line, the exit of the corner, but then it occurred into the outside line. The Devil's Elbow went back into that position goes Hurd. This battle continuing then between Russell Hurd and Phil House, and Phil House alongside again on the exit of the corner as they head down to the Devil's Elbow. Morris Hayden now ahead of Chris Lester. He's got about to lap the uh, proton of Adam Carlton. Nick Williamson though, leading the race in the Ford Escort Cosworth. He head through the hairpin on his way to victory. But here's about the third and Phil House on the inside for the final time. He takes the lead, um, takes the third position I should say, as they head through the S's. Now Russell Hurd in the MG for the final time down to the short hairpin, tries to come up round the outside of the mini, but he can't do it, he runs out wide, Phil House has got that. Ben Druin leads them then as they get down the seven straight, and then in second, and like John Perkins, and it's Scott Leach, and then the car, I think Paul Rodison makes his way up on the inside of both of them to go second. So they head now through the S's and down towards the Shores Herpin. Also in there is the Timothy Heron MR2. He comes up against the of of Perkins. Can't quite do that. Ray Rowan in there in the Porsche 996 trying to come like, alongside Scott Leach. Joe Spencer quicker out the corner trying to get through. Now here comes Ray Rowan on the inside of Paul Rodison to take second. Now passes the uh, Jaguar D-type replica of Ben Juin and Rodson follows him through so the new leader is Ray Rowan and somebody locking up there as well second is Rodson, third is Juin and here comes Joe Spencer around the outside to get third, Andy Cummings is going to come past as well to get fourth and Spencer almost goes into Rodson Andy Cummings uh, have installed the car to get in the race but already he's up the fourth as Joe Spencer goes second now Andy Cummings back in for the lead round the outside he locks up though so Ray Rowe's got the inside line he goes back through a hand of Andy Cummings but Andy Cummings in the radical SRA goes back into the lead as they now go through the devil's elbow now here comes Ian Fletcher up on the inside of Paul Rodison to get fourth and now the two Kate or oh, the two Lotus 7 replicas, the Catrum, um, Road Sport and the Fletcher Hornet. Ian Smythe goes ahead of John Gill there. They're behind Ben Juan in the battle for sixth. Um, Luke Austin there right behind Timothy Herod in the best of the MR2s. So now Luke Austin has got ahead of Ben Juan. Now the battle for second dark through, it's Ray Rowan still ahead of Joe Spencer, the Porsche, ahead of the Stuart Taylor, Lokazaki and now Ben Stewart been attacked by John Gill and he goes right round the outside to get that position does he? They're side by side still now the Morgan Free Wheeler being lapped by, or yeah, being passed even by John Perkins and Scott Leach looks like Guy Shotton might be heading to retirement side by side for second now, Joe Spencer's Better acceleration has got him alongside Ray Road as they head into the Devil's Elbow. Now Luke Austin goes side by side with Ian Smythe 
and the two cars are still side by side on the exit of the corner. The Fletcher Hornet and the Toyota MR2 head down to the Devil's Elbow. Looking up, it's Ray Rowan in the Porsche 996. He's going to run wide through the S's. This is going to allow Joe Spencer to try and make a move. They're side by side as they're out the S's. It's Spencer that gets the position now then. And Ray Rowan locks up and trying to attack him again for the hairpin. So Joe Spencer stays in front of the Porsche. Andy Cummings though on his way to victory. Here he's going to get two out of two in the sports car races here at the Plum Pudding meeting.